And hello everyone, this is Cradler90, welcome back. And we're still on the Yukon 5, making our way through these bays and doors, and still, I guess, fighting probes. I wonder if I should just tank the damage from these guys. Seems to be like it's not a terrible idea. And we're still collecting, let's see, two a carver. I guess this might be XP. Let's see. Still no more skills. No more points. Oh, but our experience is close to leveling up. That's good. And we're still trying to, I think, get to the elevator. And I'm still using controller, I mean, a, uh, the mouse and the keyboard. I haven't yet tried. Okay. Taking some damage here, but taking out these probes. And, ooh, that, okay, so those restore health. Good to know. Figured as much, but... I'm gonna just go back here because it seems like there's the dot is still here. Is there oh that's the save point. Okay, well might as well just save again. And keep moving. Last time we began the tutorial. I'm not sure if we're done with it yet. But it seems to be a pretty fluid tutorial. And we have a new bot with an exploding barrel, I think. Oh no, he's a pyro. Gotta get away from him. Okay, he's dead. seems like the enemies kind of come out of the walls. It's a neat effect, I'll say. But in the interest of not going a million times through this, I will save one more time. As I'm still just learning the game. Oh, what do we got here? Plus 267. That looks better. Oh, that's our shirt. Value 30, value 30, but this is an upgrade slot. So let's put that in there. Oh, I figured it out already. Look at that. Not too difficult, and at least now I feel better about saving it, saving the game. Okay. So the Yukon 5, I'm not sure why we were sent here. I'm sure there was some uh, exposition that I missed, but honestly, when the exposition is just given in text box that are in poorly implemented fonts, it doesn't really make me want to read it. Okay. More of these walking puzzles, and I'm sure drones will materialize. Yep. So I think the best way to dodge these is to kind of strafe after shooting from long range after a little while. Let's see, are we close to leveling up? Yep, seems to be. Like we're pretty close. Let's go through this door. And I'm sure there will be baddies coming out. No? Okay, well there's a save point up here. Let's draw them over here and then... Blow some of them up. There we go. Take out these saw robots. And we've got another save point. Good. And let me just set my timer so that I know approximately how long this episode is going. Undead Foreman. Oh, so we're that's what these guys are. We're fighting the undead as well. He's got seems to have a chainsaw on his arm. I'm surprised that this minigun is so uh so weak. I mean, how many shots does it take? Alright, looks like we've got more... ...skill points to add. Let's put another into the shield. And I guess one more into hit points. And we'll open up our skill menu. Let's see what defense. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go with that also. 
So now we have the basic level 1 stats. We'll just save. Oh, I should have been reading for these. I've been looking for these. Uh, 18 workers. 73 new cases. There seems to be a virus of sorts. Now I have two first aid packs. Can I put them on an action bar? No, that would be... That would be... <sighs> decent game design, let's just say. I'm not going to crap on the dev because so far it's not it's not terrible. I'm enjoying myself. I've upgraded one piece of loot. The loot's always good. Keyboard identification required. Did we miss that somewhere? Oh no. Don't tell me there's going to be a lot of backtracking. Did I miss it in here? I have a distinct fear that there's going to be backtracking involved in this. Can I go in here? Oh, let's try this. Okay. No! Oh, so... Pressing the S key does not automatically send you backwards. In fact, seems to be directional. Oh, don't want to get hit. And this guy, this undead chemist is puking, is puking creep everywhere. But we got him. Gotta remember to try and use the barrels to uh, help weaken these guys a little bit. Like that. Still the same drones. That's okay. I don't mind fire. I don't like mind fighting them because they don't seem to pose all that much of a problem. Alrighty. I think I'm gonna have to put some upgrades into my minigun because the, the DPS, if I can borrow the term from many a game doesn't seem to be that great. We'll pick up another med kit. Oh, there seems to be an armor drop. Tiberinium chest armor. 267, 267, 267 plus 10 health. Okay. So far, pretty average. Let's, as in any action RPG, let's just destroy the... Uh, the destructible environment. Perhaps there will be loot. Alright, let's try and get that nice. Knock them down. Take one out. Good. Avoid the creep. So it's pretty slow paced. We're in the same environment, but of course we are on the Yukon. Five, so I'm sure the ship designers while designing all these hallways and no real uh... no real uh... all these hallways with nothing really connecting to them doesn't look like we've seen anything other than maybe a sick bay with a couple beds in it it's a pretty ergonomic ship I'd have to say And it seems like you have to really click on them well to get the gun to aim at them. But that shield upgrade seems to have helped because my health, ha I mean my shield has stayed at pretty good levels so far. Okay, how many times do I have to click on that to get that to work? Well, I have to be honest. Because of how weak this gun is, this game's going to take a long time to complete. If only because these guys take a long time to get down. I have to say, the, uh, the chain gun sounds a little weedy as well. 
But there he goes. And we'll take out one more of these foremen. So many foremen, no many, not many workers. There's that key card we probably needed. No loot. Okay. Oh, uh oh. Poison spider, strength one. All right. Wasn't too bad to get down. And when he dies, he doesn't seem to unleash creep, which is good to know. About a third of the way to the next level. And we're back. Okay. So that was the shortcut. Now we'll go back here. Hopefully this will be the correct key card to open up this door. It is. And yes, of course they're going to reanimate. Oh, and these are magic? Let's get my shields charged a little bit. And they're mechanics, so therefore they can shoot energy. Interesting. Alright, looks like we've got another little, um... Uh... Light... Oh, and I'm dead, of course. Okay, so... I'm gonna have to figure out how to get through that. Probably some dodging. But luckily... I saved earlier. So, we're right back here. We'll kill those <sighs> magic guys. Take one foreman down. Take these two down. I wonder if they're, uh, if the the bad guys can intercept and block the energy attacks. That'd be interesting. Some new meta. We'll just get that saved so I don't have to kill him again in case I can't complete this. Alrighty. I don't want to memorize the pattern, so I think I'm just going to go for it. Oh. Not good. Not good. Well, one more time on uh, on video, and then I will just get through it. And I will re re restart the video when I have completed it. So, here's hoping. And I didn't pick that thing up last time. Alright. Follow this. No, we won't. Okay, and I made it. Very nice. Took a little work, but I got it. And let's hope they don't just rush me, which it looks like they're doing. Okay. There you are. And we'll make our way into... Ooh, okay, here's a new room. Looks like there's some engine turbines. Interesting. All running in, uh, what's the opposite of parallel? Perpendicular. Not sure if that's the way a ship's engine should work, but like I said, I'm not a space engineer and I don't play that game, so I really wouldn't know. I'm sure there'll be a checkpoint coming up soon enough, and that's probably where I will end this video. And yes, I realize I haven't even made it out of Chapter 1 yet, but I read on the Steam reviews that it is a, um, it is like a 10 hour game, because it's difficult. I would say, from what I can feel right now, the difficulty stems from the awkward movement controls, which is not exactly how you want your game to be difficult, but 
that seems to be the reason for it right now. And those little movement puzzles, I can tell, are, if they get more difficult, and I assume they will because this is the tutorial level, will just get infuriating. But that's why you're watching me play and not suffering through it yourself. And hopefully there's some cool loot. I mean, so far we've only picked up regular armor with a little upgrade slot. That's not exactly anything to write home about. Oh, shoot. Let's run away. Okay. Okay. Well, at least we've got some enemy variety now. This guy seems to be sending out, um... In addition to just the the blue guy in the middle, in addition to just a uh, the mechanical the uh, magic stream, it was sending out like three or four little uh, beams that were kind of just traveling around. Also, as you can see, and I'm sure if you walk into those, it counts as a hit. But we made it. Let's see, it's kind of close to level four. And oh, we have a that that was an upgrade. It was green. And from all my gaming experience, colored items better than gray items. What do we get? A helmet. Oh, I thought that was a jacket. Interesting. Alrighty. Can I put this in there? No, that's just a mid kit. Put that in there? No. Alright. So now we have a plus 188. Which is 55 better than our first. Alright, I'm enjoying this. Loot is always good. Oh no. Another one of these puzzles. Alright, I'm going to try and make it through this puzzle. And then that'll be the... Uh, that'll be the... Video if I can get it done. And no. Alright. I'm going to give myself one more try because that didn't seem too difficult. I made it. All right, we'll get some health back. Get a little more over here. Shields recharge, and I'm sure fight some things. Or maybe I will. I was gonna say, get lucky and just be able to hit the spawn point, but perhaps not. All right, he dropped another med pack. So he's good. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Alrighty. And we've got a save point. Let's just clear out the room. And this will be it for tonight. And it's kind of getting late by me too. So... I'm going to want to say goodnight, guys. And that was it. That was episode two. Pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. So we'll keep this going. I'll talk to you guys next time.